Hello everyone, this is Valhalla Gaming TV and it's the channel that plays everything so you don't have to. Today we are back again with Satisfactory and this is going to be part 23 of the series that we're doing. If you guys are new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and help me get to that thousand subscriber mark. We're so close, we're at like 800 and some. Also, if you guys have been here before, I really appreciate your support. Now let's get back into this game. Okay, like I said in the last episode, uh, I decided to build this road while I wasn't on camera. Because my god, did it take a while. It took a while. I had this little explorer vehicle now, cruising on it. But I got it all connected. And like I thought before, the the other um, factories that I built, they didn't line up very well. I think I'm going to have to rebuild all that stuff eventually. But for now, I'm going to leave it as it is, so we can at least get to phase two at some point. Because I've been uh, drawing this out quite a bit. But I think this episode, we're going to work on trying to get some of these, um, these factories connected. And we're going to do it with tractors. So that's what I'm going to do on this one. Uh, but I also want to do the hyper tube as well. So I'm thinking maybe we'll start out with the hyper tube. That way we can travel around. And I'm not exactly sure how that works. So we're going to have to figure that out. Let's grab the little explorer vehicle. Do some driving so you guys can see the road in all its glory. By no means is it perfect, and I still got some work to do on it, but I am pretty much connected to everything. Like, we got it up here to the... That one's the Quartz Factory, right? No, no that's Caterium. Uh, the Quartz Factory is down that way. And we got our reinforced plates. We got our copper. We got our iron plates over there. Okay. Oh, and we got those hard drives too. So let's uh, let's head over to the hub real quick. Let's not get too confused here. I had to make this one pretty steep. But here we are at the hub. I'm already running low on fuel. This way I can get some of that condensed coal. I think I got the hard drive for it. Hopefully I got the sulfur and the coal. I think I needed 25 of each. Let's see, there's 22 in coal here. Uh, what do we got in here? We need some more sulfur. That's one thing we don't have either. Oh, there's some. We don't have a, a dedicated sulfur mine. So let's go to the sulfur. And there we go. We got the hard drives. Where are they at? There they are. I got two of them. Okay, sulfur. Boom. Research. Get that condensed coal. Compacted coal. My bad. Hello, Seda. Compacted coal unlocked. It is physically smaller and more powerful, but its carbon footprint remains enormous. This fuel upgrade can be used in coal-powered generators and vehicles. And we're going to use it for some vehicles. We also got this one, but I don't even think I have this fuel unlocked yet. Packaged fuel? That's something we got to look at later on. But compacted coal, does it tell us the difference? Let's see. Can't have her over it? How dare you. Cold is 300 MJ. What does compacted coal do? Uh, let's go to compacted coal. And this does... 630. Look at that. It doubles it a little bit more. Double plus 30. It says click to expand. 25 per minute. Oh, and look at all the rates. Okay. So this is what I was missing before. I got told in the comments on how to do that. And this is the framework we got to work towards. Oh, look, I can already start doing that, actually. I thought I was going to use other things. Look at that. The modular frame, uh, frame factory I built and throwing in them steel beams. We need 2.5 per minute and 30 per minute. I think we're actually making a total of 30 per minute right now. And then that's going to make five per minute. We need a thousand. Oof. Okay, we're going to need more than that. We need a lot more steel. And then the encased industrial beams, we still need to make that automatic. Yeah. Okay. It's going to get interesting around here. Now, do I want to use that hard drive or do I want to use it for something else? Sulfur. This needs a hard drive, but I don't think we're doing that yet. What else needs a hard drive? Got a rifle. That'd be cool at some point. I'm thinking that this 
detonator here is gonna remove like um maybe like rocks and stuff and and land maybe not land but okay black powder we need a lot more stuff for this uh let's see here i am can't do that yet okay smart splitters oh i think we can make those actually ai limiters what do we need for that ai limiters we need the quick wire i think i got some stored over here quick wire there you are and how many did i need for that that was under uh smart splitter 10 of them okay seems doable how much do we got here oh, i made i can make seven of them i need more quick wire all right let's go get some quick wire that's why we got the road and whatever coal i have on me i'll have to put in the car actually i can probably make compacted coal with it can i make it in here compacted coal nope you gotta make it in something else that sucks i thought it was gonna be cool okay let's put some coal in here we're gonna have to find some other coal nodes as well I'm just gonna make like a, a compacted coal factory like I was talking about before and have tractors um, basically deliver that to fuel other tractors. I don't know if that's the most uh, efficient method to do it, but I think that's what I'm gonna do for now. Because we're using a lot of that coal for other things. All right, let's go this way. Grab some of that quicksilver. Or quick wire. That's what it reminds me of is Quicksilver when I look at the name of that. And as you can see over here, the, the road didn't quite connect properly, so I kind of had to jerry rig it. But it's connected. Gotta do what we can, right? Oop, oop, oop. Careful. Careful now. Alright, we can hit a big jump on this one. Boom. That was pretty cool. Alright, let's get back to the hub real quick. Okay, we're back over here at the hub. Let's see what we got. Uh, we gotta make 10 of those AI thingamajiggies. That's what I'll call them. AI limiters. Yep, we got enough. Okay. Oh, I guess I made 11. It didn't stop. Okay. Sulfur. That is not where I wanted it. Where was the AI limiter? I'm confused already. Oh, here we go. Smart splitter. That's what we're going for. All right, Ada, tell me all about it. Tell me why it's better. Smart splitter unlocked. The smart splitter offers advanced settings that can improve conveyor belt logistics. Okay. That was, that was extremely vague. Thank you. Okay. Let's move on from this. We can do the smart splitters now. Let's see uh, how much that bad boy costs. Split uh, one conveyor belt into two or three. A filter can be set for each output to allow a specific part to pass through. Okay. So instead of the other one where it just passes whatever, I can decide what goes through it. Ooh. That means I can put multiple things on one line. Okay. That's interesting. That's very interesting. We'll have to get creative with that. Okay, we got the bean over here messing around. Oh my god. Why? Oh, trucker, you knocked over my car. Get out of here. He's not even running. You're gonna get a rebar. Get out of here. Oh, trucker. There he goes. <laughs> get off my car. Just freaking knocked it over. At least he put it back. How nice of him. Okay. Uh, so, hypertube, that's what we're doing. Okay, that's what we're doing this time. Let's try this hypertube out. What do we need for it? Transport, hypertube. Entrance. Powers up hypertube system and allows it to be entered. Okay. My question is, can I use the hypertube and just use one tube and get off at different places? Or do I have to have a separate tube for each transport? That's where I'm a little, uh, 
I'm trying to figure that out. I'm not sure how that works. Let's put this one right here. That should be a good start. And this is the entrance. I'd imagine we put it like on the ground here. I'm just gonna test it out real quick. Let's see how this thing works. Wall hole, support, hyper tube. Oh, it only goes that way? Okay, I put it the wrong direction then. Let's try this again. Hyper tube, entrance. Ah, okay. It's got an entrance like that. I did not see that. Something like this. And that goes right there. What happens if I just do that? Let's, uh... Can't plug it in there. I need some power. Where am I going to pull the power from? Here we go. Let me just grab that line from you real quick. There you go. We'll just put it like right there on the edge. That'll work for now. Let's uh, put it straight across to the other side. Yeah, that'll work. And this one's not even in the right spot. Okay. We're going to go like this. Line it up right in the edge. And then plug you in. Okay. Let's see what this does with the hyper tube. Watch, I'm just going to fly right out of it. There's probably a cannon in it. All right, here we go. Oh my God. Now, okay, so we just go through it that way. That works. Now, how's this gonna work? See how far we can go with this. I'll just do it every two. Why did that disappear? Oh, it's still there. Okay. Now, I wanna solve my question here. So it says that there is an Entrance and an exit. Stackable hyper tubes. Okay. So, can we make an entrance off the side of that? Or it just goes off that tube part? We're gonna find out. Like that. And hyper tube entrance. Yeah, okay, it is just like I thought. Hypertubes only work in one direction. Like, you can only have one tube for each thing. I gotta figure out if I can get, like, a label or something to mark where these go. And at this point, I'm thinking that I might have, like, a hypertube system. Hmm. I guess I can have them get off at every intersection. I just do that. It's not gonna really go to, like, a dedicated area, but it'll... It'll go to each one of the system, like each uh, factory. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's keep this going. Move it forward, and we're gonna go every other. And I need steel plates or iron plates. We are low. Luckily, I got a road. And the uh, iron plates are right in front of me. Okay. I'm getting a little confused now because I did all these roads and it changed it up a bit. So it doesn't look the same. I'm a very visual person. I use landmarks rather, rather than like uh, road names. That's, uh, that's how I find my way around places. So if they change it up, I'm lost. Yeah, I can already see the... You know, the, the negatives to that. <laughs> you probably know some road signs. Which I think we can actually get road signs later on in the the thing that has the, the store. That's what we can use. So let's go this way. I wonder if there's a, a distance that you, you have to use here. Like, does it slow down over time? Or will it go until it's done? Hyper two. Keep it going. Line it up. What does zoop mode do with this? Oh. Okay. 
That's too close. There we go. See, this is what I wanted to use the road for. I did want to have hyper tubes going down the side of it. So this is, uh, ain't bad. Gonna take a little while though. So I'll start making some hyper tubes as we go. And then I'll start working on some other stuff too. Okay, we got this end. Now we just gotta connect it all. Connect these tubes all the way down. Okay, we are connected. Look at that bad boy. Looking pretty cool. Okay. Let's see what we can do with it. Will it take me all the way to the end? Here we go. Oh my god, I'm a tube. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Look at Oh, it says there's something in it, like inside it. Look at that. It goes green and then turns back. And I'm out. All right. That worked out. I guess this is a good time to test out the blueprint thing. Let's see. I'm pretty sure since this is really repetitive, yeah, I think that's what that's for. So maybe if I had like this and that right there, like this connection right here to this, I can just copy that. Then it would be the perfect, you know, distance. And then just paste it all the way down. Let's see if I can do something like that. I've never done it. The organization, what's it under? Production. Power, logistics, special maybe? Ah, blueprint designer uh, is used to create custom factory designs. 32 by 32. Ooh. Oh, that's big. So what do I do with this thing? Do I just put it down somewhere? And then I guess I build blueprints with it? Let's go, uh, let's go back down to the, the hub real quick and maybe I make specific blueprints down there. I got no idea, man. Okay, I'm gonna build a foundation over here. That goes out a little bit, like a five by five. Hey, Mo Trucker, don't block the way. I know how you like doing. Always likes blocking the way. And then I'll build that blueprint thing over here. And then I would imagine I just come over here to make blueprints. Let's see, thing is big. What do you mean the space is too uneven? Is that not big enough? It's gotta be big enough. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's switch this like that. Once you have built a satisfactory blueprint, interact with the blueprint designer terminal to save it. It will then be available in the blueprints tab of your build menu. Blueprints can always be edited to correct mistakes or optimize. If you find yourself struggling to work within the set size restrictions, remember that this is a U problem and efficiency can always be improved. This is a U problem. Okay, so let's uh, grab the production. No, nope, no, nope. transport. So we want an entrance. No, we don't want to do the entrance. We want to just do the supports. So how do these measurements work here? Let's see, each one of these frames is like one, two, three. Is this a meter? Is that how that works? That must be like a frame here or something. I'm confused, man. How do I get the measurements? All right, let's see what this is. New blueprint, set directory. Oh, we got icons and colors. Interesting. And we can do a, a description. Load blueprint. Oh, we don't got none of those yet. Okay. So let's figure out how this is going to work. Oh, I know what I can do. Let's do a foundation. Is that the size of it? I think that is the size. Yeah, that's looking like that's the size of a foundation, so I was right. Okay. So if that's the case, what I was doing was get the transport, get the hypertube support, and I was putting it like right in the center. Like that. 
and that's the wrong one. Stackable. Just like this. And then I skipped one and went to the next. Like that. And then in between, we got the two. That's literally it. So what would I call this? Hypertube, it's a stackable, stackable hypertube straight. Do that. Stackable hyper tube straight. If I can spell. Um, a straight stackable hyper tube section. Doing capitals in weird places. Okay. So used to making uh, YouTube uh, titles. <laughs> All right. Uh, directory. What's this one to do? Add a blueprint. Oh, directory. Is that like a folder? Okay. Can I do something with this? Edit. Add category. New category. Can I name it? You add a subcategory. Okay. How do I name it? Stackable hypertube. Add a subcategory. So this one's undefined, but it looks like I can do one here. Weird. Got this out of category then. New category. Ah, here we go. So this category is going to be called hyper tubes. Select icon. Kind of stuff we got. Um yeah, vehicles. I guess it's a, a form of a transport, so we can use the arrow, power. Maybe the door. We'll use the door icon. Apply icon. Apply. Hypertubes. Put that in there. There we go. Apply changes. Wait, no, that one goes in there. Can I switch that? Edit. Move view here. It's still under under, um, under undefined. Why? Get rid of that. Edit. Select this. Put it here. It ain't doing it. All right, maybe I'll just do this real quick. Hold on. Get out of that. Set directory. Hypertube. Did that do it? No, it just says it's set as the undefined. I'm so confused, man. Select an icon. Can I search? I can't. Hyper. Tube. Let's go with the stackable one. That'll be the icon. Select color. Let's go with like some, some orange or something. like me some orange there we go that'll work this directory thing though it's annoying me why can't I move you I don't like this undefined directory this category oh oh my god okay add a subcategory maybe I gotta do that hyper Tube straights. Now, can I move this to this? Apply changes. Does that make a difference? Okay, I'm gonna have to just like 
Didn't save changes. A blue rent close to this will describe the changes. No, apply changes. All right, back out of that. I guess I'm just gonna save this. Copy, save blueprint. And let's go back. I guess I got the blueprint, but can I move it when I'm in here? This doesn't move. Don't tell me I got something on the bottom that tells me. Cycle hotbar, find a hotbar, add to to-do list. No, it doesn't. Okay, well, if you guys can figure that out and let me know if uh, how to move blueprints to another category, I would be greatly appreciating that one. Okay. Well, let's see if uh, how it looks. Blueprints, look at that. All right, let's go up here. Um, I guess we can build it this direction. Let's see. Because we want these to go all the way down both directions. All right, let's go this way. Here we go through the tube. Speed racer. It's flying through this thing. I should have probably made an opening right there too. I guess that's okay. All right. Now we need it to go this direction. So let's do another entrance. We'll have people come through here. By people, I mean specifically me. And that's gonna be like right here. And then the blueprint that I got, which I can put in my hotbar, blueprint, two, zero. There we go, pull out zero. And you're gonna go line up with the entrance like that. Look at that. Building in blueprint mode can further optimize your construction process with snapping and quick dismantling options. Build modes are not just there to make your work easier, they compensate for inevitable human error. Fixit understands humanity like no other, and humanity needs you to be efficient and productive at all times. Uh, I think I messed up on this blueprint here. So this is nice, but the problem is, is that it's not like a good blueprint because we can't just keep connecting it. Oh yeah, that's a problem. Okay, we gotta adjust this real quick. Let's go back to the blueprint. Okay, heading back to the blueprint thing. I gotta think in a way where it's gonna be modular. So this blueprint is cool and all, but it doesn't work because of this. It's gotta be like that. Okay, save blueprint. Uh, overwrite, yes. And then clear blueprint designer. And from here, we're gonna make another. So, uh, transport, hypertube entrance. Now we know this is the beginning of a platform. So we'll just start it like right here, right in the center. And then we're going to get one of the stackable hypertubes. I'll line it up right here. And then we're going to grab the tube like that. And the cool thing about this one is that I can just rotate it either way. That can either be an exit or an entrance, wherever. And now this one could be configure, blueprint, hyper, tube, entrance. And then this one, uh, I don't really need the description. I know what it is. That is directory, add blueprint here. Okay, so that works there. Why did the other one not work? Weird. Okay, I figured that out at least. I might have to just remake the other one. Um, hyper tube. Now we're gonna use the entrance icon, which I think is this one. Yeah, that's it. Select icon, select color. We'll just go with the old orange for the hyper tubes. I think that'll work out. Make it a little bit darker. Okay, save blueprint. Okay, now let's clear the designer again. Now that's all done. 
so we got the other one undefined, but I can redo that in a little while. So let's go back up here. Go through the tube, go to the other side where I'm gonna build them. Let's see if this works the way it's supposed to. Okay, we're back here. Let's get rid of all this. And I wanna build it like we can just place blocks. So we're gonna go back to our blueprints. Hypertubes, hypertube entrance. We'll put that to nine. Let's do nine. There we go. So pull out nine. Bring that over here. Now we know if I do this, it should line up pretty good. Just like that. And then let's bring out zero. Now look at this. But before it had the other side and it wouldn't connect. But now I could be just like this. And now it should connect just right. And hopefully it actually works that way. Next. All right, let's see if this works. We got the power over there. Put another power line. Like that. And like this. Power it up. Oh, see, look, it doesn't work with the blueprints. Man, what the heck? It doesn't connect. Well, I guess what we can do with the blueprints is just have a, the support set up properly. That's annoying. So this will still work, but it didn't quite work the way that I thought it would. Yeah, see, now it works. I don't know why they didn't allow the blueprints to connect like that. Maybe it doesn't understand what it is. It just knows that it has blocks that it copies. Well, I guess that's where we're at with that. So with the supports here, this is the intersection. We gotta go all the way across. I think I can raise this up another one. So on the intersection here, we can probably go up. That way vehicles can go through. Like that. And then let's put it straight across. Something like this. And like that. Now we should be able to get the hyper tube go right across. Another object in the way. What you talking about? Oh, I don't have enough pipes. Okay. All right. All right, guys, give me a sec. Um, I'm going to put some more of these down and probably connect over here to the steel factory. And I'll do that real quick off screen since you guys got the gist of how this is going as well. And I'll see you guys in a few. Okay. I got a bunch of this hyper tube set up. Look at that. It goes way down there. Let's see if it works. Here we go. Is it all connected? Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, this is way faster. This is the way to travel. Hyper tube for the win. And we're out. Nice. Okay. We'll have to go have it go up there. It's not even that expensive, which is nice too. So it'll bring us to different places. Like I can get all the way to the hub from here. I just gonna have that hyper tube go all the way along the road and open up in different intersections. Then it'll take me to these places. Like I can put like another one right here and bring me over to that. Or another one on this side that brings me over to there. All quick and easy. Okay. Let's see how much fuel we got on this tractor. 44. That should be enough. Let's go find a coal node. Ah, we can't do that. Not on the tractor. Did I take this pure coal node over here? I marked it, but I don't remember if I took it or not. Oh, it's way over. Yeah, I took that one. Talking. Okay. Let's see what we got. Coal. Show me something good. Those are taken. 
Taken. Taken. Nothing? What about this way? Any coal this direction? I think it goes in every direction when you look like that. Yeah, they're just over there. I'm out of luck when it comes to coal. I'm gonna have to go further out somewhere. Get another little tractor. Yeah, we, we are out of coal in this area. There might be more over there. Over by the... Actually, I think there is more over there. Let's go check that out. Over by the... The power plant. In this direction, we're all tapped out. Alright, everybody. I'll see you when I get over there. Okay, while I had you guys waiting, I made two more hyper tube lengths along the road. Okay, let's go through this one and see if it works. It kind of went through this little like rock structure over here, and I'm not sure if it's going to work properly, but here's the moment of truth. Am I going to hit it? And if I do, what happens? It... Nope. Okay, we're good. We went through it. Go into the end here. And these hyper tubes are awesome. Okay. So we got hyper tubes almost all the way around the road here in this main area. Now, let's see if we have any more coal that's not being utilized over here. Come on, big money. Show me some coal. Used. All used. It's all used. Man. If we want to use those trucks, we're going to have to, like... We're going to have to take some off of the already, like, uh, used stuff. Oh, I know what I can do. Never mind. Nope. I've been doing this all wrong. I can increase those uh, miners to MK2s. That should give me more out of the nodes, right? If that's the case, then I can get more coal. That'll work out. Okay, let's go back to the steel factory. All right, here we go. See you guys when I get there. Okay, we're heading back over here to the steel factory. I need to make some more of those mini uh, drills. And then I should be able to do some upgrades to the uh, miners we already have, which should in turn bring us more, right? At least that's the idea. And the MK2 miners take two. And then let's see, this one brings 60 resources per minute. This is 120. And the uh, rates vary based on resources. Let's see. And I look at like uh, minor MK2. Nope, that's not how you do it. Uh, minor K2. Okay, click to expand. Portable miner. Production rate 60 per minute. Cycle time. I don't think that's giving me what I what I actually need. Okay. Let's uh, make these portable miners real quick. Okay, we got the portable miners going. Now we have enough to make these MK2s. So let's go upgrade the, uh, the coal. Then we can basically split it off into the truck station to fill them up. And we should be okay. At least uh, uh, give them fuel over here. The other ones we have to figure out. Um, I'm thinking that I can actually... Uh, I wonder if you can specifically have them grab certain things. The trucks? I'll have to see how that works. If you can have them like, grab a certain amount or certain things, that could definitely work out in my favor. If I grab this much coal and then drop it off somewhere else while you're picking up elsewhere. Then they can basically drop off fuel and pick it up if they need it. Maybe a filter that actually gives like a quantity amount. I'm not sure if it's that complex or not, but we'll find out. Okay, let's upgrade these bad boys. So right now, these are producing 60 per minute. Now if I upgrade it, boom. 120 off of a normal node. Oh, 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 oh. no way. 120 off a normal node? 
Did I just triple my process here? Wait a minute. A pure node's gonna give like 240. Now it's starting to drill in. And then these alone are MK1 belts. I'm gonna have to upgrade all those. Oh my god, so much upgrading. Upgrade. Oh yeah. There's a lot of belts to upgrade here. They all need to be MK2s. I literally used MK1s all the way there. This is going to be a process. Alright everybody, be right back. Okay, I have upgraded all these to MK2s now. So they should all be moving pretty good now. It's a lot better than it was. MK2 belt. I guess walk along this, make sure I didn't miss any parts on it. Man, this changes everything. Just those miners alone. Okay. Yeah, that just... Man. Changes everything. Wait, what is it with these crates? Plates? Oh. I didn't have enough inventory space. That's what it was. First time I've seen those. Come here, crate. I got it. Okay. We got a lot of coal. That means that I can use this steel factory and I can start producing uh, producing the condensed coal or compressed coal. And uh, I can start transferring some of this stuff out of this factory into another. And I can make even more of the steel. That is exactly what we're going to be doing in the next episode, everybody. Thank you for sticking around with me and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. All right, everyone. See you in the next one. Later. Hey, everyone. You made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. On the bottom of the screen, if you like, comment, share, subscribe, you can support the channel. Also, check out the videos above. That'll take you to more content from Valhalla Gaming TV. Thanks again. Later.